in schools that our children are going to, where our kids are being taught things that are so antithetical to Torah. The walls came down and the Luchot are being broken and the Torah is burning in front of our eyes. I want you to hold that image for a minute. How many times have you been to a Hachnasat Sefer Torah? Utnu kavod la Torah Sisu v'simku He's singing a shore shira We're dancing, we're picking it up. Imagine someone came along poured gasoline on the Sefer Torah and lit it on fire. And could you imagine that while it was burning we're still singing. Around the campfire. This is not an example. This is happening, and it's happening now. Are we aware? Are we careful? Are we watching? What are our kids ingesting? Where are we sending our children to school? Where are we sending them after school? Someone came to me, Rabbi, I wish I didn't send my kid to this amazing college, amazing university. I said, really, why? He says he came back, I don't recognize him. All he says every day is how everyone in our family is terrible and we're the worst. And how we need to be more of this and more of that and we shouldn't think this and we shouldn't say that. And anyone who says anything, there's no conversation with him. He's right 100% of the time. Are you not aware that the walls have been broken and the Torah is burning and we're still dancing? Because no one, like we didn't even we didn't even realize that this happened. Allah mavet b'halonenu. Death has appeared in our windows. The death of the Jewish people, the death of the Jewish community, of Jewish values, where clubs and groups are allowed to exist. In Jewish schools, and I'm not saying which schools, are you aware? You know, there used to be a public service announcement. In a difficult time, they used to say, it's 11 o'clock, do you know where your kids are? 10 o'clock? My mother let us stay out later. 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock? My friends, there was once a time where your kids were safe until 10 o'clock. And at 8.30 and at 9.30, no problem. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? It's 10 o'clock. There was once a time on the television where before this time you were not allowed to show this or present this, the watershed. That was the time after which you could show something was disgusting for a child to see, because at that point, only adults are watching. There's no such time now. And, and, and it's, you don't have to buy cable for your kid to get that stuff. If he has fifteen, twenty dollars $20, you, know, you can go buy himself a phone that you don't even know about, another phone. The walls are down, Torah is burning, and we're still dancing. 